Hello guys, it's Rad. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Rad Kutarot. And this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and uh, Pisces Rising weekly tarot reading for March 4th to uh, March 10th, uh, 2019. So uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, which by the way are uh, the traditional uh, reader weight uh, tarot deck, uh, I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a, a general reading for uh, Pisces uh, star sign and for that reason is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single different Pisces. So uh, for that reason in this video I'll try my best here to explain you the meaning uh, the, the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread but uh, and also I'm going to try to give you some examples just so I can make my points across much more clearer but at the end uh, you will have to kind of like align that general reading with your personal situation to make the reading on a more personal level however if you want uh, exactly your personal situation and the questions that are bothering you and you want to be answered to be analyzed by me through tarot to be answered and to give you a, a prediction for your future then that is the subject of a personal reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of the video and on the very front page of it you're gonna find full list of my services as well as their pricing so going to the pisces reading here the first card which is the topic of your week pisces that is going to be the devil card followed by the second one which is the negative approach toward the situation that is going to be the three of cups third card which is the positive approach toward the situation that is to be the four card and the last one which is the final outcome excuse me the final outcome of growth here, uh, should you follow the guidance of Tarot, that is to be the Two of Swords. So once again, the Devil was a topic, negative approach, Three of Cups, positive approach, the Full Card, and the last one that is going to be the final outcome of growth. So uh, it does look like, guys, that this is uh, a week where uh, you are going to take a turn. Uh, this turn is going to be, I hope, for the for toward a, a positive end. But uh, what happens here with the devil is that you are going to start feeling yourself unstoppable. Really, a, a huge surge of, of, of tenacity is what is going to come around. And as well, huge surge of power. Unstoppable to a point where uh, if... Um, how can I place it? That could escalate into very uncontrollable behavior as well. Uh, now, the thing is that um, long oppressed or rather suppressed desires and yearning from your behalf are going to resurface because you will have the option available or the opportunity to fulfill those urges. For example, you want to be with a certain person, but until this very moment, they had a relationship with someone else, fiance or whatever, you know. And this week at the Monday or Tuesday, you kind of learn, uh, are, you are to learn that they broke up and now this person is on the market. So there you go. Your, um, your wish to be with that person resurfaces once again. You feel unstoppable and controllable to conquer uh, this urge and basically to feed up your soul because this is what the devil is all about, really. It's, it's kind of like a... Uh, one makes the necessary moves to uh, to feed the hunger of one's soul. But how this is going to happen through unavoidable fateful events that is to happen, which means that if that person breaks up with uh, with their current boyfriend or a girlfriend, you know, or fiance or whatever, that is uncontrollable and as well fateful unavoidable event, meaning that you don't have any control over, but that event gives you the means to really chase your yearning. This is not a goal, all right? This is not a, a wish. This is a, a yearning. Do not confuse two, the two things, okay? So your wish could be to be rich, but your yearning could be a, a being rich through incorporating certain professions. So this week is going to give you the uh, the circumstances you need through those uh, faithful events in order to achieve your goal through the way you want, okay? 
same thing goes if we're following the example with the breakup here of that person you want to be with. I mean, the wish is to be loved and happy, all right? But the yearning is to be loved and happy with this exact guy or a girl, or it does not matter. I mean, it, it kind of like it, it is irrelevant whom you want to be with, but this card gives you the option to do it exactly the way you want. Uh, the accompanied card here, this is going to be the Page of Swords. So what we do have is passive enemies. And it means, and in this case, it means that you are going to experience as well quite of a calmness, knowing that this time around, you kind of seal the deal. This time around, there is nothing that can actually oppose you because the Page of Swords is about also opposition and about conflicts and so on and so forth. And as the devil is the topic here, uh, even if there are people who are in a conflict with you, they will simply have no chance when you confront them with this, like I said, unstoppable, uncontrollable power that you possess. And that is the thing really with the devil card, guys. Uh, as the power uh, itself comes in incontrollable way, you got to tame it. You have to give expression to it. You got to control it because make no mistake here, you can use that power to do good. You can use it to do harm. It is all depending on you, how you're going to use those means which are given to you throughout the week or in the very first few days of the week itself. <clears throat> now, Another thing that comes to my mind, let's say that you are um, you are a supervisor, okay? You are a boss in where you're working at. You do lead a team and uh, you have that opportunity to truly finalize a, a, a project that it is important for you and you kind of milk your team for all they got for the sake of uh, finalizing the project. Well, we're talking here about the power, once again, to milk your team and to finalize that yearning of yours, to prove yourself that you can lead that team to finalize that project. But in this case, you did more harm than good because you basically squeezed uh, your means as much as possible. So you have to be rather more balanced with your approach and... Uh, you need to tame these once again surges of uh, of power so the negative approach toward the situation three of cups um, asking for advice how to really act or not knowing how to act at all and trying to seek an example from other people what you need to know that your yearning has nothing to do with the yearnings of other people wishes can't be the same i mean one can wish to be rich one can wish to be happy, but yearnings are like a fingerprint. They are unique for every single one of us, okay? So you cannot take an example for anybody around you. As a matter of fact, the appearance of this card <clears throat> asks you to keep your things for yourself, keep your ideas for yourself, keep your vision for yourself, and try not to share it with anybody, even if that is a very, very faithful companion of yours, because simply they won't understand it. And uh, as a matter of fact, having this card here, they will try to kind of talk you out of it, talk you basically, um, how can I place it? Make you not do it, make you not follow these with these yearnings of yours, making, um, trying to make you not feed up your soul with your soul with what you need. Now, what you need to know is that it's very important here to feed up your soul. Otherwise, no matter how big success you are going to achieve further down the road, uh, the fulfillment, the sense of fulfillment is not going to be uh, fulfilling. I'm sorry that I'm using that term. Same. You, you can fulfill the wish of being happy, but just because you are happy with not the person you wanted to be with, to be happy with, is not going to be as fulfilling as being with that person, if that makes sense, Okay. So yeah, you should not follow someone else, someone else's, uh, not just advices, but vision for that matter with these cards. And also with this card falling into that position. And also it is important not to share your emotions. Your emotions should be kept for yourself, at least for the time being, until you don't stir your things and act upon those fateful events. Because people may think that you're weak. People may think that you are uh, kind of like way too impulsive and so on and so forth. And basically the only thing that you're going to do 
is repulse people from you as they are gonna start thinking that you are either immature or not reliable enough. The accompanied card here with the tree of uh, with the tree of cups. This is the tree of wands. So we do have double trees. Definitely talking about social circle and people that you may run to support from, but support will not come. Just like we said, that they will not going to understand you and what you want to achieve through these cards and also these cards are forming passive enemies so basically what means here is is that um how can i place it uh the whole the whole manifestation of these fateful events is a good thing that happens but you got to solidify on it okay instead of wasting it and uh also, these cards are pointing that the direction you are to take to fulfill your yearning is going to be your personal direction. No one can follow you there. It's kind of like going to the toilet. I mean, no one can follow you to the toilet. I'm sorry that I'm using this, uh, this example, but there are things that you have to do on your own without even saying that you're going to do them uh, to other people. Uh, are they going to be challenging? Yeah, I mean, uh, the, the challenge itself could be the very reason why you would want to run to your friends and ask them for help or for opinion for that matter. But why don't you first try the challenge yourself and if you kind of feel that it is overwhelming and that you have no chance dealing with it, which that's not going to be the case, but it, it may leave you with that impression at the start without you even trying it. So first trying it instead of, uh, instead of running straight to the people that you may think you're going to have an understanding from or face understanding from and support from. And instead, you're going to be left disappointed because they will tell you, you know, are you out of your mind? I mean, that, that, what you're trying to do is stupid. Uh, it's not applicable and so on and so forth. And what do they know, really? I mean, look at that example. So that person breaks up with their fiance. You really, you really want to be with them. And so you share with your friends. Did you know that uh, Jason, just for example, by the way, the um, <clears throat> if the name I use it's, is as your name, that is complete uh, coincidence here. So you say, well, Jason, do you know that Jason broke up with uh, his uh, fiance? Now he's free. So I'm going to make my move toward it. And they tell you, how can you do so? He just broke up with his fiance. And uh, he's probably in a very bad state right now. You need to, uh, you should not make that move. It doesn't look um, right you know and it, it it doesn't look kind of like fair and so on and so forth and yet what do they know really so basically um, my whole point here guys is do what you want that that's the thing and do not give a damn thing about what anybody else think of it and have an opinion of it for that matter because opinions they are everywhere but no one is going to suffer the consequences of your decisions, right? So why don't you chase your yearnings and your um, and the, the way that you're going to make yourself happy instead of following someone else's criteria and, you know, someone else's understanding of what the situation should be, although that someone else is not going to be there to suffer those consequences. So instead of that, going to the next card, which is the Fool, and obviously you got to give a go to the new beginning. You got to give to uh, a go to the incorporation of these fateful events. And you got to have the clamorous belief for the future. Unaffectedness and uh, non-confronting should be the, 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 the game, of the, the virtues that you need to rely on in a sense of that you should not confront with other people regarding your ideas and especially if these people tell you that these ideas are very stupid that is another confirmation that uh, actually these ideas can really uh, manifest and uh, and materialize in your life the fool asks you to be very open-minded the fool asks you to give expression to your yearnings and to your ideas in this uh, follow-up additionally to that um 
how can I place it? You need to be more focused on the on the end goal rather than how you're gonna get there. That is from a utmost importance. And as well, uh, what was I about to say here? Um, you gotta be, well, it's not much of a creative, it is more like you gotta act in a more artistic fashion, okay? Whatever that's supposed to be, it's just something that came to my mind right now, looking at the full car. You need to act with some artistic fashion because do you know what? Um, the fool carries the wand of power. It is basically, this is the supreme wand of power. And when the fool comes around, especially in a conditional place here as what you need to do, it's a confirmation that there is nothing that you cannot do. Therefore, your yearning, it is yours to take. Only if you have the guts to take it. Is it gonna be easy? Probably not. Is it gonna go against someone else that does not share your belief? Probably yes, you know, that does, does, does this mean that you gotta give up? <laughs> Not at all, I mean. The accompanied card here with the four that is going to be the uh, hangman, so we form active neutrals, and this is the stir of your life. Simply, the skies darken are gonna be set into light once again. You have waited, basically th these cards are pointing that you have waited long enough to make yourself fulfilled. You have waited long enough to fulfill your wishes and to fulfill your dreams and your yearnings for that matter. And now the hell with every, everything else. I mean, you gotta make your move. It's just what these cards are pointing. And uh, looking at, these, uh, at this synergy here in between the Fool and the Hangman, you ain't gonna find a better time to do so, guys. I mean, that guy broke up with, the, the, with their fiance. Maybe they're gonna reconcile in three weeks from now and this is your window. This this week is your window. That person got fired from that place you, you yearned for, well, that's your windows, window because the next week maybe someone else is gonna be hired there, okay? So now is the time of action. No action means no yearning comes true. And that means that your power, the, the surge of power will be unutilized, it will linger within you, you will not know what to do, and this is where the aggression comes around, okay? So if you don't act upon those primal urges that comes to you, those pushes toward your yearning, um, afterwards, the, the whole sense of unfulfillment uh, is going to create very aggressive behavior at your behalf, and you may start oppressing your uh, your power upon people that does not deserve it. So you truly need to capitalize on these fateful events for you, Pisces, coming in this, in this week, March 4th to March 10th, 2019. And finally, the card of growth. So you are to reach a, a very precious balance, okay, in a state of peace. Does this card says that the whole deal is over? I don't think so. Uh, to me, it does look like a, a stage of waiting things to develop. So basically you did your part and now you're waiting something else faithful to happen to kind of like lean the scales of balance to a certain, uh, to a certain direction. So you kind of like continue on um, working to make your wish come true. But with uh, the two of swords, you are definitely gonna be in a stage of peace no problems, no confrontation, no rush at all. And um, as a matter of fact, you can sustain that state as long as you like, okay? I mean, the, uh, the furthering of the, uh, of the undertaking or the endeavor, it will depend on you. But what is important here is, is that you're gonna start seeing the things from, from kind of like a different angle. Uh, and uh, from now on, before you really decide what to do, you are truly going to consider all points of view. But what is the beautiful thing about this card is that your points of view will matter the most. From the rest of the points of view, from your colleagues, your friends, your partners, and so on and so forth, you are gonna be able to extract the positive thing out of it, incorporating it in your plan and making as perfect plan as possible how to develop further goals and how to make further conquests. The accompanied card here, this is the page of pentacles, which falls into a, an active enemy, excuse me, to the two of wands, uh, to the two of swords. 
and definitely uh, from now on, after you follow the guidance here of Taro and you fulfill your yearning, you will understand, Pisces, that whatever you do from now on, it has to justify your, res your, uh, your efforts, okay? So at that point, moving on forward, uh, this undertaking, which is your yearning, is going to yield results. Basically, whatever you incorporate as an effort in it is going to have benefits for you. Wasting of efforts, wasting of resources, or wasting of, wasting of time is not going to be a present in there. One second. That is because your ability to see everything from every kind of point of view, from the prism of every direction, and you're going to choose the most efficient and beneficial way how to tackle with your relationship, with your career, with the new place, with the new person, with your friends, with your family, and so on and so forth. But that is only if you fulfill yourself, if you fulfill your yearning throughout this week, September, um, March 4th to March 10th, 2019. So that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading Pisces for that period of time, March 4th to March 10th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, once again, that was a general reading for you for uh, this, this week. And uh, you have to kind of align your situation or in this case, you have to discover what your yearning is and follow it because this yearning is going to be different for every single different Pisces. But if you want more personal touch here, so meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by Taro, uh, true Taro by me, and uh, to give you a, a prediction for your future regarding that situation, or simply you have an answer, a questions that needs to be answered, you're baffled by them, uh, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And on the very front page, you're going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.